The culture of pharmacy, I think, has changed a lot. It's no longer just about putting pills into a bottle. It's a whole relationship now. We're trying to build pharmacies that are like wellness centers uh, to help people holistically rather than just here's your pills and let's move on. I think the challenges community health workers are seeing in rural areas are just literal access. In our small community, we have one doctor's office. There's no hospital, you have to drive quite a few miles away. So I think the rural area, just having access to things is one of the things that we're trying to build. My training for this role was um, the same as every other CHW. Uh, we just had some extra pharmacy training. So uh, things that we could make ourselves aware of during our workflows specifically for the pharmacy. Going through the community health worker training has really helped us focus on patient care and patients' health literacy. We're able to connect with people more on maybe the medical side. So we're able to help bridge the gap in services, help people find medications, help them find maybe cheaper alternatives. So some of the services that we're hoping to implement coming up soon is a diabetes self-management education classes. We're currently getting uh, credited as the pharmacy to be able to help people in a community. We're seeing a need for that. So our focus is on trying to create a program that would assist people who are newly diagnosed or in the midst of it and just need extra help. The advice that I have to give to aspiring CHWs would be to stay plugged in with other community health workers. I think it's growing so much that the places that community health workers are in and doing are all different and making sure that you stay plugged in so that you can help other people you know of all those programs that are available.